The trial of the teenager accused of setting a deadly fire is now on hold. The teen is facing several charges, including criminally negligent homicide and arson. The tire recycling plant went up in flames last summer in Lockport, and 14-year-old Joe Phillips died in the blaze. News 4's Dave Graber is live outside the Niagara County Courthouse with more on what happened there today. Dave? Well, Jackie, Don, it was certainly an emotional day here at the Niagara County Courthouse today as the moment that the mother of Joe Phillips and Phillips has been waiting on for months finally arrived. Today, for the first time, Ann Phillips heard her son's final pleas for help, left in the form of a voicemail of the cell phone of the teen who's now standing trial. Now, certainly today was interesting. It was actually put on hold because of the information that was lifted off that teen's cell phone by Lockport Police in addition to the voicemail. That includes videos that pertain to this case. Attorneys for the teen standing trial argued today that there was no consent by the teen's parents for police to take anything else other than the voicemail that was left by Joe Phillips. As you mentioned, the teen in this case faces 10 charges, the most serious of which is criminally negligent homicide. Prosecutors argue the teen knew Joe was trapped inside the burning building on the property of HTI Recycling, but did nothing to help him. Now, we won't find out how the case will proceed and with what evidence until the middle of next month. I asked defense attorney Angelo DeMillo about the argument that he made today on behalf of his client. What's happened is this, at the time that the parents and my client were being interviewed with the uh, police detective, um, the concern at that time was the voicemail that was left by uh, Joe Phillips. And the parents had told the detective that they had no objection to the voicemail being downloaded so the police had a copy of their voicemail. They consented to that. <clears throat> At this time, apparently on the cell phone of my client, there were other videos pertaining to this situation that we learned of on Tuesday. So there's a legal issue here as to the admissibility of, those vo of the uh, videos, and that's what we're determining at this time. Now, although this case was originally scheduled for two days, once it got underway, there was a pretty clear understanding that it would take a lot longer than that. We are next expected to be here at the Niagara County Courthouse on March 16th. The morning has been reserved for the arguments on both sides, both on behalf of the defense as well as the prosecution, to argue about whether that crucial evidence will be allowed uh, in this particular case. It will then proceed in the afternoon, and there's no telling exactly how long it will take uh, over the next couple of days after that. We have much more on this story on our website, wivb.com. For now, reporting live in Lockport, Dave Graber, News 4 at 6.